ex cartel yes, yes. in the house. Oh, it's and drink for me. It's dark. Yes, it's. <laughs> I want to say it's a blessing. There's some sinning while I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but it was right on time. Mm-hmm. And he's like, mm hmm. And my nice hustle for him cup that I get to take home with me, I hope. Yeah. Yes, so now you I'm just, I don't no, want to steal do. it from y'all. No, you do. It's you sweet. do. You're yeah. supposed to take a cup with you. All right, bet, bet. So for those don't, don't, who don't know, who's Flex Cartel? Flex Cartel is. Uh, American Jamaican artist. I would say American Jamaican artist because I'm more American than Jamaican, but my culture is Jamaican. So I'm going to big them up and say, where I go on? Flex Cartel, you know, President say he Jamaican too as well, you know what I'm saying? But I'm an artist from Highsville, Maryland. Been rapping the DMV for a minute now. I've been going crazy. Me and my twin brother just dropped a project called 218 with DJ Tay James. That's Justin Beaver's DJ. Uh, business call coming, but I'm not gonna answer it. <laughs> we got um, my big brother Wale. He's been basically mentoring me in the game right now. He took me on tour uh, a few months back, and then after we went on his Shine tour, he took me back on tour with Nas. So we've just been having a crazy run right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh the 218 project. Yeah. What, what's up with the two? What, what does 218 means? 218 is about me and my twin brother who just walked in the door. Cooley is here. Cooley is here. Our birthday is on February 18th. Oh. So oh. Uh-huh. I need a piece of together. Yeah, so it was two we dropped on 218 mm-hmm. and called it 218. Mm-hmm. And we're twins, so it's 218. Dope, 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 dope. This and this is our first project together, right? Yeah, this is our first project together. So who some of the people you work with on this project? <laughs> Um, on this project, we have worked with, shout out DJ Money, he uh, executive produced the project. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, also outside of that, shout out my big brother Phil Day. we have Phil Day Light Show, Free Big Flock, Big Flock's on there, we have Will the Rapper, um, who else? We have Raina Rich, we have, it's, it's, it's a broad, broad variety, span, variety. Mm-hmm. everything, y'all drink already getting to me, uh, <laughs> sway, oh, they got drink in here, what they got? <laughs> like, they got some yeah, brown, drinking, yeah, drinking, yeah. Drinking. I think got, got uh, tequila, like. oh, let me get some, so, <laughs> so we got the, um, what I was gonna say, where was I at? Uh, who, um, who you yeah, work with on the, on the Oh yeah, project. Uh, Sway the Remix guy. Shout out to him. He's on there. Shout out my little bro Sherman Lester. He produced some joints on, joints on there as well. Um, who else? Who else we got on there? It's going crazy. Um, light I show. That's light show. Light show is on. You there, said dude. trail already. Fat trail. Yeah, Shout trail. out Fat trail. Yeah, I got a bunch of um um hometown hero on the, on yes. the project. Which is yeah. dope. You know. Oh, what I'm and saying? my guy Derek Milano. Derek Milano is on there. I'm flying in the morning. Yeah, that's what's up. And shout out Rosart. Shout Rosart produced a nice amount of beat. He produ- produced Flight in the Morning and recognized with Fat Trail. And he's from Chicago. But he went to Howard, so it was kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? That's how we connected. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. How'd you get your start in music? Um, actually, I used to be in a go-go band back in the day. So I used what to go-go band? I was in a go-go band called Reflections. I used to be the lead mic for this band called Reflections. I did. I was like a third mic for this band called Game Over, and I played like a little bit with this band called IEB. Okay. Yeah. So that's how you officially got your official start in music. Yeah, or? I mean, my official start was Reflections <coughs> because that was the first time I ever got to lead a band, and I was mm-hmm. like, all right, all right I, I wanted to do real music, mm-hmm. and that was the clash that me and my band members were having. So then at one point in time, they were like, we don't want you in the band no more. They kicked <laughs> so they me kicked out the you band, out. and I was like, all right. I ain't never do music. So, what do you mean, real music? Because I like, I'm like an R&B lover, so you know what I'm saying. So, I love like instruments. I love pianos and chords and all those Uh type of things. So, is when I was playing with them, it was like an era. I know you know like Gogo's changed right now, but um, Gogo's basically kind Mm -hmm. of not here anymore. Mm -hmm. But at the time when I was growing up in high school, it was very prominent. So, right, and I was like trying to get, I was trying to get. Like back then, if you were a go-go star, you're popular. We ain't look up to no rap. Pe- we ain't look up to rap right, stars. Right. We look at the polo. We look at the big G. Those are the people that we felt was the coolest. We ain't care. Like Cameron came. Through, like no disrespect. We ain't rapping. No disrespect to Cameron, but Cameron came through. It wasn't like they were showing him respect. I was still a young nigga back then. They don't have nothing to do with me. But mm-hmm. like <clears throat> we wasn't glorifying rap. Right. So I was trying to be go-go, be in a go-go band. Did that, and my music wasn't. 
what they felt was right because it wasn't like bounce just like how rappers now like most people like real artists they want to hear lyrics in some type of way and people like no nah, i want to hear some mumble rap mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's what it was and we were having a clash like that so i read um <clears throat> your the your epk that you had sent over uh -huh. and you described your music as mon mel melodic yeah explain that like why Melodic. Like in trap, because you put both of them together. That's like two ends of the spectrum. You know what it's, I'm saying? So how do you bring it to a medium where it's like melod mel ah, melodic, melodic and then trap, trap at the same exactly. time? Exactly. Because it's like, did you listen to like um, Recognize? I have not yet. Okay, so if you listen to Recognize or you listen to Traveloni, which has Biggs on it too, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. like... Recognizes a swaggy, melodious type feeling type hook mm -hmm. when it comes into it. Mm -hmm. So I got the juice, I got sauce. And nowadays I do what I want. Mm -hmm. That's like a little vibe, like mm -hmm. melodic mm -hmm. type vibe. Then it goes right in the trap, like, oh, yeah. Baby, can I curse on here? Yes. Baby, yes, come yes. over <laughs> the real nigga. I'll give you all of these keys. Mm -hmm. That means I'm kind of deal with you. Like on some trap shit. Then we got the uh, trap lonely joint that's melodic. Like, my little bit so bad, I might just tat it on me. Walking with that bag and spinning racks on it. Now, if I was dead down on my luck, would you turn your back on me? Because lately I've been by myself, I'm in the trap lonely. And then Cootie got his rest in peace, little people put the drugs down. So, so Cootie, do you bring the trap? Uh, I bring, I bring swag. the swag. Bring I bring the, the swag. swag. I bring the swag. Like, I be swagged up for real. When you listen to my verse, I make you feel cool. You feel me? Okay. Any, <laughs> anything I do, I make you feel cool. I make you feel like you could be that nigga. Like, you feel okay. me? Okay. Yeah. All right, so Cooley, let's talk about it. Have you always been into music as well? Oh, no, I haven't. Did um, your brother drag you into it? Nah, he didn't drag me into it. I mean, he had some influence. He definitely has an influence because mm -hmm. without him, I would have never rapped. Mm -hmm. Period. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, it was little times here and there that he'd make me do like something with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? He'd be like, nah, like, you really good. But I never was like Serious pushing myself. Yeah, I was like, yeah, all right, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? But then when Tay James got involved and he was like, y'all really would make an effort, make something crazy happen. I was like, all right, bet. And then my brother was like, do it. And I, that was it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, right. Like, he was an influence. So if anybody influenced me in this rap game, the most would probably be him because he's the reason why I'm doing it now. Who's know? older? Who's the oldest? I'm the oldest. By how many seconds or minutes? Five minutes. Oh, okay. You wasn't yeah. ready to come out. No, I was I was chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I was cool. I was cool and I was chilling. So how, how you feel about um your position in music right now? You feel like it was worth um the, the, I guess um you um you know accepting the uh, not a challenge but the, the force or the um the motivation to do music. You feel like you made the right decision? I do feel like I made the right decision because like I feel like I would have never took it on and to see like the reaction that I'm getting from people just telling me like DMing me calling me texting me tweeting me saying like oh you fire i'm like i'm fire thanks like you know what i'm saying it's like it's a brand new lifestyle that i didn't even think that i had so now i'm taking a full fledged so i can be who i'm supposed to be you know cool uh, where, where's where's what is that and who is that what, what are you trying to be as far as go what you want from the game i'm trying to be somebody like i don't i want to be the best but I take being somebody you know what i'm saying i like i'm humble so it's like i just want to be somebody i want to be successful what I want to get out of this is I want to have a name and I want to be able to make sure that I can support my family. If I could do both of them things, then I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cool, 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 cool. What was the, uh, you went on tour with them with Flex? Or you, you, you... I didn't go on tour with them um, at that you time. You said them. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going. Jamaica. We don't go on tour you with them. them. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <Go> nah. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Um, I went to a few dates because. At that time, I was working on my clothing line and stuff like that, and they was on tour, but they definitely, it was always like, you can be here if you want, like, you know what I'm saying? But I had to focus on me at that time, but I definitely went to dates, like, I met them in, like, um, I think Philly, went to New York, we went to a lot of places, like, you know what I'm saying? So, right. yeah, like, I definitely was on some of the dates with them, I just wasn't on the entire tour, you know? Cool, what's the, what's the name of your line? Rare Cartier. Right. Look that up, rarecartier.com, rarecartier Clo on Instagram. We going crazy right now. This, I'm about to drop my track suits on Monday. It's going crazy. Everybody want one. And it right 100 M's. <laughs> 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 so you can see, uh, are, you a, are you a fashion designer? I am a fashion designer. I'm really into fashion. That's what I was in before I was in music. So now I'm just trying to intertwine the two. So if you had to choose, what would you choose between music and fashion? Mm. 
I would. Dang, that's hard. <laughs> Cause I like I like being able to show people how smart I am with my wordplay and how I can dissect things. Like you know, but then at the same time, I like to dress. I like fashion, so it's hard. I mean, both both avenues are open to be successful. It's so hard though. I think I probably might go music because. I, I would have a voice, you know what I'm saying? If I have clothes, people are always going to put me on their back, but they don't know what I stand for a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? They might just like the shirt. No, right. yeah, the, the clothing, they, Versace, all them. They, they got a voice. They, they all got a voice. voice. They I mean, no, no, the clothing got a voice, but some people just wear stuff because they like it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if they hear me, they're going to be like, okay, maybe I don't have to be this type of person. Maybe I can be this type of person because he's that type of person. You don't feel like you can speak through your design? I think I can speak through it. I just feel like I can speak more when I'm speaking through my mouth. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what? What's, well, what can we expect? I think when the last me you um you dropped something was like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So what what, what you got cooking? I'm um, actually working on EP right now. It's about I'm not gonna get the name. I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm working on EP right now. Got some dope features on there, and it's about to get a little crazy. When can well, we expect that? Going into the spring summertime. Spring, summertime. Yeah. Okay. For sure? Yeah, for sure, for sure. When last time y'all been back home? Uh, I was uh, back there two years ago. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Two Flex, years. you? I think I was there last year. Yeah, oh, really? last yeah, year. Yeah, like two, two times last year. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Any, any reggae music for the, um, <laughs> y'all to them? Yeah, yeah, man, I got, on, on the news joint, I have, I have a, um, first off, let me shout out Consequence Music Group, uh, with, uh, they, like, a label that's in Jamaica and Canada right now. I did a record with them when I went out there. Mm-hmm. Um, with the dude Acid, they produced that joint. Um, it's called I Don't Mind. That joint's on Apple Music or whatever. You guys can get that, that get that on Apple Music. But I do got another record with me and Phil Ade. That's a reggae record that's going to be on the next project. And it's going to be real crazy. So so far, what's your busy, biggest success that you've um, reached thus far in your music career? Or what you would consider your biggest success? My biggest success is having my mom believe in me because I remember when I first started rapping and you know you go like you from y'all you trying to make some music. Like, what is that? Like, no, nobody want you shouldn't be doing that, da, da, da. but then like eventually like people are like, yo, your son's like da 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 and she finally like is a supportive and in my actions and what I do, so I'm grateful for that, and I feel like that's my biggest accomplishment right now. Dope, 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 dope. So we gonna get part two, or y'all just gonna leave, just leave two eighteen, two eighteen? Oh, two eighteen, two is coming. Really? Two eighteen, three, four, five. Oh, that's I mean, y'all doing trilogies. Yeah. So y'all like y'all y'all feeling the reaction from the public on this project? Yeah. Nice. Is this the first time you all work together on a project? Yeah. Okay. So how has it been? It's been very Working good. with your brother. First, yeah, like that brotherhood. Y'all bump heads? Like, I mean, we bump heads because we brothers at the end of the day. We always going to bump heads. You right, know? That's right, brothers. right, right. But in the same in the same instance, like, we learn from each other a lot, too. You know? So when y'all create music, how, how do y'all think y'all, y'all both are the same, same space when it comes Mm-mm. to creating? He's, uh, he's in a totally different space than I am, and my space is different. His space is like, he's like so musically inclined, like, it's mm-hmm. like... It be times like I'll make a song, like I'll literally make a song and it be fire. Like it be fire, but everything not in the right place. And he'll just be like, move this head, move this head. And then it be perfect at that point. You know what I'm saying? So with that, but then it's like with me, it's like I'm so swaggy. So sometimes I'll be like, you know, if you turn this into that, he'd be, be like, all right, bet. So we always can help each other. Like, cause like mm-hmm. with him doing that and me being me, it's like we have the best of both worlds. You know what I'm so, saying? So. I feel like you guys are dead individual anyway you know what i'm saying like it's it's, it's, it's a separation like i know you guys are twins but like i don't get that twin Uh, energy from you guys like we had trippers in here and it was just like so in sync yeah like word for word it was crazy but i just kind of feel like it's like y'all have your own individuality which is like appreciating because you know sometimes twins can be corny with doing the same stuff all the same time but like (laughs) that's like super dope that you guys feed off of um one another's creativity i wish i had a twin (laughs) hey flex what 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 do you what's um what do you learn until what's one of the biggest thing you appreciate from the tour the Shanto. Um, one of the biggest things I appreciate is learning how to humble myself because I was getting a lot of hype in the city and everybody was like, you're a flex cartel going to going to 
the clubs and they shout my name out and stuff like that, but it's a big world out there and mm. you you really don't know what it's like until you actually see it. Yep. And then when you get out there, you see it and you see how small you are compared to the world. Yep. It's like you got a lot more to do. So I'm, I'm appreciative that I could, I've, I've gained that understanding and I didn't just go on tour and was like, yeah, I'm on tour. I did that. Now just go back and I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. Y'all think I like, no, it's like, Hey, hey, everybody, I went on tour and I learned some things and I want to let you guys know I'm here to be everybody's friend. Let's be lit together. So, yeah, that's what the DMV is missing, yeah. yo. A lot yeah, of guys said what you just humanity. said is the biggest issue in the yeah. DMV right now. How you feel about the DMV as far as what we had, as far as like unity? Um, um, I guess musically, I know we um, we popping, but uh, as far as unity, how you feel about the DMV right now? I mean, the unity isn't all the way there, but at the same time, everything's new for everybody. So... We've already come from a city that is that hasn't that hasn't always had that much love. So this is just like us getting like an extension to some type of opportunity, but we still having the same aneurysms and culture. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I know that it's going to grow and it's going to build to a point where people are going to be like, man, I got to do this with bro. Like, that's my brother. Like, da, 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 and stuff like that. And the artists that who have been in the game for a long enough time, they do act like that. But some of the newer artists, they don't know how to get along with each other. And that's where the problem gets in play because those are some of the artists who are getting a bigger platform more than the, uh, the older artists. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of ca causing a clash, but I feel like they're eventually going to figure those things out because... You think so? I, I mean, because this is what I think. And I, I always try to go into this. I always say, like, we're right on time because people always be like, yo, why we can't be like L.A.? Why we can't be like... Uh, Atlanta and stuff like that but at the end of the day like those those cities they've already had a culture they've had outcasts why we can't be like New York they had Jay and Big and all that stuff when they was focusing on that we was focusing on Gogo -Go. and I ain't nothing wrong with that because at the time Gogo -Go was our culture Gogo -Go mm -hmm. was we had Junkyard Band that was signed to Def Jam you know what I'm saying they were signed to Russell Simmons and them and it, and it was real culture so and, and, and like we have real records that was genuinely made from us. Like, Go Go Now is like us covering songs more so. But at one point in time, it was our records. So now that we are crossing over to the rap scene and now we're getting acknowledgement for the rap and what, like when Wale kicked into doing all that stuff, now we're getting, we're going to get to the point where people are going to notice like we have to work together because Atlanta ain't always work together. Yeah, they've been Atlanta and they've been like, yeah, that's my dog, that's my dog. But like, Jermaine Dupri, like people don't know, Jermaine Dupri took his own money and went to Atlanta and did... Uh, spring, uh, spring fling and like BT joints and all that stuff. So that like the people could come together and see like yo, it's just love out here. That's why that, that it's caused it's created so much longevity. So eventually we gonna do that. And if people like anybody who feel like they're not gonna do that, I'm gonna make sure we do that. So what? Yeah. How you how you heal those those scars though? Yeah. Those scars. Yeah. Those people who got got scarred from what you just said. How do you heal those scars so they can unite? I mean, since you said you're you say you gonna you're gonna do it, right? Yeah. How are you gonna heal those scars? I'm gonna continue to kill people with kindness. That's the only way that you're gonna do it. That's the only way they're gonna acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, I might do something for a person two times, and they might never acknowledge it, and they might not feel like they had to ever owe me a thing, and I never feel like they're supposed to owe me a thing. But at the end of the day, I could continue that ten times, and by the tenth time, they probably be like, "Dang, Flex always look out, and I ain't, and he ain't never asked me for nothing. What am I doing wrong?" Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody rock with flex, and I, I don't know. Uh, I want to get a little bit of love like that person showing flex from that that person right there. Mm -hmm. You just showing by example. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah, that's hard, bro. Cause I feel like I've been doing it for the past three years to show motherfuckers love, and I don't get love back to but, keep a buck with you. So yeah. by you saying that, I mean I'm I'm, I'm gonna wait and see um see what you do. Mm -hmm. But that's a that's a heavy job. That's a bro. job. That's a job. Cause I'm at a point. I, yeah. I, I, I don't gave up on that shit. I don't, I'm like I'm I'm like fuck everybody. To and be at honest. this point, it's just like <laughs> it's saying? like so, his, that's your like your major goal just to yeah. kind of unit unite one another. Um, and killing with kindness. And I guess my not necessarily my fear for you, mm -hmm. but. How do you make that determination for those who may take your kindness for weakness? Like, how are uh -huh. you going to handle that? When because people, it, and, there, and I know this is a whole because, process. Because then when they say my kindness for weak, weakness, then get on the song with me if you're a rapper. And then you, I'm going to demolish you. And now I'm going to show you why it's, 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 it's a game that we playing. It's a business that we doing. Dog, we all, most of us who are in this rap industry, we black. So we supposed to be supporting each other. Not saying that we not supposed to have no friendly competition, but dog, Why? 
Why oh, do no, I no. hate wait, you? Wait, wait, right. where, where's, you well, what, what I'm saying is, how do you heal little scars after like a person? See that guy you get on the track with was a person who um who fucked with you in the beginning, but like you see, you humble yourself, mm -hmm. and you wasn't really paying attention to the guy that you got on the track with, and mm -hmm. he scarred from what you done to him or whatever happened, uh -huh. and now you you kind of you know you kind of buck you, and now you like you know what my mistake blah 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 blah. How do you heal that scar? How I would heal that scar personally, yeah. I would I would be with, I would see that person, I'd mm -hmm. be like, yo, bro. Da 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 da. You know, it's always love. We from the same city. We supposed to support each other. I might say that to him, and in that same instance, he might not understand where I'm coming from. Then it might be a show that's like we had the 218 EP joint, mm -hmm. and it was sold out. And I'll call him myself and be like, "Yo, bro, I want you to be on the show with me. What you gonna, like? It's love. Like I, I, that's what I was talking about that night. Okay. So we healing. We we gonna keep building, and we gonna heal. Cool. Yeah, well, okay. yeah, that that's good, that's man. That's a journey. Yeah, but you you got you got the energy for it though. Yeah, it, man. It seems like you you have a real main goal to unite. Um, yeah, I hope it should work. No, I mean, I mean, I I know a lot of people hope that it works, but at the end of the day, if we don't unite, and I know all the people that's hoping, but if we don't, what's going to happen? Yeah. The city we're getting clout from people being people being lit. But at the end of the day, the reason why LA and all these other people when they and, and Atlanta, they're unifying each other mm -hmm. to create longevity. If we don't do that, then we yeah. gonna crumble. Yeah. So that's our fault. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be on everybody else. That ain't on me. I'm just telling spreading the knowledge that we need to work to get we work together. And if we don't, it's gonna be our downfall. I'm hip. I've been hip. Yeah. I've been hip. Awesome. Yeah, but I'm just, you know, just getting your take on it. I've mm -hmm. been hip. That's about my whole um, you know, my whole my whole deal to be honest since yeah. day one. So mm -hmm. but I just want to get your take on it. That's all, because right now, like I said, musically, um, it's not a question about it, what the DMV is doing right, right. now. Everybody's getting contract. Everybody, not even just contract. Uh, it's just like musically, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Cooley yeah. is saying right now that he's in the studio with you. He learned how to, um, you know what I'm saying, organize a record or whatnot. Like, you know, it's not just him. It's a bunch of guys out here got swag, got flow, lyrics, or whatever the case may be, or punchlines, whatever. Yeah. They just can't make a record, you know what I'm saying? So musically, I think we're in a great space. I think the DMV is actually on, but I don't think the unity is here. Yeah, and I not. think I think that's the biggest, the biggest. And we ain't even talking about just rap. We're talking about media, mm -hmm. talking about producers, yeah. talking about yeah, engineers. Like, it's a, yeah. Yeah, it's especially crazy. like engineers and producers. Like um, the game treat engineers like this shit. You know what I'm saying? Straight yeah, up. And it's so it's like, and they don't they don't even get it. Like an engineer is like a fucking doctor. Mm -hmm. You can't make a hit record without an engineer. It's 50-50. It and, and people don't, a lot of artists don't get that. So that, that's kind of what I'm saying. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I mean, that's what I was saying. A lot of art, a lot of the younger artists, they don't understand what it is. And I ain't going to lie. Even at a point in my time in my career, I could have been naive to that because mm -hmm. I'm only chasing what I see on other niggas' rap videos and shit like that, not right, knowing right. that. It's more to this, or not hearing somebody say that it's more to this. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. You right. feel what I'm saying? So it's just like I, I can't really fault them for them not knowing, but then it's it's, it's up for another nigga who who knows better. Is either he gonna say I've been through that shit, we man? Fuck y'all, mm -hmm. I don't care. Or we gonna say I've been through that shit. Don't do that, dog. Yeah. And well, I you, just say it. Just say it. Even just, well, but, you you gonna have to help me because I'm, I'm really saying fuck y'all. I feel it. Like we will help each other. <laughs> we will help I'm, each I'm other. I'm serious. I'm done. Yeah. That, I, 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 I'm done. I've so been there. Yeah, you got you got you got to help me. Um, but now nah, y'all gotta come back, man, because we ran out of time. We got Young Mo here. We trying to bring Young oh, yeah, Mo on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young yeah. Um, so y'all gotta come back. Are y'all gonna be in town? When I mean, what, what y'all doing? Y'all moving out? We, we, we y'all traveling? What y'all doing? I'm come back. Traveling. Come we, back. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, come back when y'all get some time. I know y'all running kind of late tonight. You know what I'm saying? Schedule got kind of jacked up. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I would love to like talk to y'all. I, I want your take on that too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Since yeah. you run, you know what I'm saying? But we got we got time for real, for real. Nah, I feel um, but y'all gotta come back. I'm not Definitely even saying that because sure. we uh, we talking. I'm, I'm being I'm being real. Y'all gotta come back so we can. Yeah, have we a can deep, dig we deep. Come dig deep. Yeah, yeah, dig yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the people uh, need yeah. need to yeah. hear this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. you, like you said, you've been out. So you see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta come back and look, look man. Y'all tripping. And the thing is, me? and the thing is, real quickly, like we ask that question a lot, uh -huh. and this is. For me, the most impressive answer. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like everybody is just like, eh, you know, we can't really unite because everybody's yeah, so yeah. busy. Da, da, da. But you actually have a sort of solution yeah. to what um, we're trying to do in terms of bringing it together in unity. So yeah, you guys do have to come back. Yeah, and then, I want to hear more from you I more about the clothing. Yeah, yeah. 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 definitely. I'm gonna definitely be back. We're gonna get it. We're gonna I, get a problem. I, I just want to sneak this in there real quick. Like I just want people to know, like. We watch people on TV who have stole our culture and we are fathom by what they've stolen from us and act like we didn't do it first. Right. Yep. Or even when Biggie's like Miami DC prefer Versace, we was doing that. 
But then Amigos say Versace They're like Yo Amigos went crazy yeah, that's, Versace, But we've been real. doing this yeah. That's real Martin, Lu- Martin Lawrence is from Ke- uh, Kitland mm-hmm. Maryland He went to Central High School Then when, yeah. he, when yeah. he's on When he's on Martin He's acting like a nigga Who's from D.C. But they place him as a nigga who's from Detroit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So now everybody thinks this is how a Detroit nigga act. But right. Shanae is a girl from Southeast. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we can do this. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all gotta Appreciate come back you. to y'all. Yeah, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you guys right. so much. Summer in the place, you know.